Hello and welcome to another episode of Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. For those of you who don't know what it is, it's a series I've been running for everybody to reach out and help each other if they're struggling with the mental health, feeling low, or just want someone to sit and chat to whilst doing makeup or having a cuppa, however you want to do it. Um, it premieres on a Saturday 3pm UK time and yeah, I'll be there in the comments to chat, um, as hopefully will some of you. So yeah, today is another chatty get ready with me. I've got a few new products to try, so let's get right on in. So the first product I have to try is Revolution Glow Dream Beam. It's a primer, glow primer. So we shall see what this is like. Oh, it does. I don't know if you'll be able to see. It actually looks like pearlescent. Oh, it smells of coconut. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, that's definitely got some glow in it. Wow. Um, yeah, this is very glowy. Very, very glowy. I don't know how well you can see this on camera, but it's like a pink, like opalescent sheen on my skin. That feels slightly silicone-y. Hmm. I have to wait and see on that one. Not so sure. Yeah, that is not what I was expecting at all. It smells beautiful though. So let's go with foundation. So I have the XX Revolution foundation to try and I have it in the shade FX7. Okay, so let's see how this uh, goes. Yeah, the colour match is pretty spot on. Yeah, it's not as uh, thin as I thought it was going to be on the skin, actually. It's a slightly thicker consistency, but it is blending in really nicely. If you can hear any strange noises, Poppy is asleep behind me and she keeps snoring. <laughs> so, uh... so, yeah, if you hear any strange noises, it is probably poppy <laughs> oh and for any of you who don't know poppy is my dog mm. yeah it doesn't say on the bottle what the claims are but i would definitely say this is quite a matte foundation yeah it's got pretty good coverage yeah there is the glow from the primer coming through because that oh, that primer was like um, putting liquefied opals on my face. Yeah, it's definitely looking nice on the skin. So I do have a new concealer to try. It is the Ordinary. So it's the Ordinary Concealer High Coverage Formula. It's in a little squeezy tube. So I'm going to... I might have taken too much there. So firstly let's blend in up here. It is a little bit on the light side for me but it seems to be blending in pretty well. Right, I'm definitely going to go back in with a bit more of the foundation just because I feel extremely um, pale in those areas. So let's see if we can... Uh, yeah, that's definitely not a concealer for the face. Way too pale. And now I'm looking a little bit cake facey. Yeah, definitely too much. I think I'm just going to try patting that in with my finger because I think that's going to work better. Mm. 
Yeah. I'm just going to quickly powder my under eyes. I'm not using a new powder, it's just the uh, Catrice Nude Illusion Loose Powder Transparent Matte. So let's just take a little brush. Let's just make sure I've patted out any creases. And then just a little bit to set the under eye area. And now for cream bronzer, again, I don't have a new one. So I've got my Sosu cream contour stick in cool. And I'm going to just take that on a brush. Okay, and I'm just quickly going to take the brush I used for the concealer and just clean up under there. Right, next up we have a new cream blush and it is the blush from Made by Mitchell in the shade Mango de Curie. I also have the brush, which one is that? The MF one? I can't quite work that out. Um, but I'm going to just dab some of that on. And then let's see how... This is a pretty blush. So what are you guys up to over this weekend? Anything exciting? It's not going to be... There's a security man taking photos of a car park. Nope, of a gate. Okay, as you do. So my weekend will mainly consist of the usual sitting around doing nothing maybe doing some makeup i do really like the uh, formula of this blush blush yeah you really don't need much of this a little really does go a long way i absolutely love an orange blush and this is beautiful. Okay, so I'm just gonna set the face with the Catrice Nude Illusion Powder. I'm just going back in with the smaller brush first just to concentrate on the areas that get most oily, which is around my nose, forehead and around my mouth and chin. It's a really lovely powder. I do really enjoy this. Definitely one of the best affordable powders I've tried. I find it does mattify, but it doesn't dry my skin out. And then with what I have left in the lid, I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and just set the rest of my face okay so that was the Catrice Nude Illusion Loose Powder Transparent Mattes and I really really like this so for powder contour I'm going to be going in with my Kaleidos Charisma Contour Palette in Cool and Light and I use this one for contouring around my face, this one for my nose, and then this to brighten up any areas should I need to. Uh, 
Now I really do enjoy this little contour palette. So far everything I've tried from Kaleidos I've loved. I've got uh, one of the Space Age highlighters. I have the Club Nebula palette and this contour palette. And I do have to say that I love all three. So that's definitely a, a good sign. But next I'm going to bronze up just using the Kiko Milano Unexpected Paradise Bronzer in the shade 02 Universal Sienna. I just find this is a really nice bronzer for me. And it smells oh, like coconut, it's amazing. Oh, quite fortunate today, so I've had a coconut smelling primer and a coconut smelling bronzer. Okay, so now my eyes are primed and ready. I was so fortunate that someone I know was having a declutter, they had way too much makeup and uh, asked me did, did I want anything from their collection, obviously what they had decluttered. And look what I got my hands on. The Nomad Cartagena Magica palette. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And look at that. So excited. So, I am first, what am I first going to go into? I'm first going to go into Toda La Vida, Toda La Vida, Toda La Vida, something like that. I'm probably going to butcher all these names too. Look at these beautiful imprints before I ruin them completely. Look at them, the Simba. <laughs> oh, they're so, so cute. And there's, uh, I believe that's a chameleon head. How cute is that? The monkey. And on the front there are even, there's a snakey there and a snakey up there. And uh, for those of you that don't know, I keep snakes. So I am a snake lover. So let's just uh, pat any creases out. And see what this baby does. Oh, okay. This is a good yellow. I was so excited when I got hold of this because I've got the Iceland Fire and Ice palette, and it is one of my favourites. So uh, to be able to get hold of another palette from Nomad. Um, was so exciting. I was so excited. So I'm going to be using this more so as a transition. This is so nice. It builds up to well first shade in and I'm impressed already look at the pigment on that yellow amazing absolutely amazing so have any of you guys got anything to look forward to at the moment anything exciting um, I think the most exciting thing I have to look forward to is a couple of our snakes are getting ready to lay eggs. So uh, once they've laid, we've got about about 60 days and then we will have little, little scaly babies. I do love having the little scaly babies. They are so cute. I know not everybody likes snakes but I find them so calming, so relaxing. Ooh, well that is beautiful. So we need a brush to go underneath that. Right, 
So to deepen up underneath and in the outer V, I'm going to be going in with Amoris Contrariados. Yeah, I don't know how to say that, that one there. <laughs> so let's see what you're made of. Oh, wow. The pigment on these is amazing. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, what are you guys looking forward to? Apart from obviously some normality, but we need still need things to look forward to. So what is it you guys have? What's keeping you going at the moment? I think this channel is definitely keeping me going at the moment. You guys are awesome. I don't know what I would do without you all. You're so kind and oh, it just melts my heart. <laughs> wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, and in the very outer V, I'm going to be placing Otro. Demonius, Demonius, that one, <laughs> I'm so sorry, I haven't got a clue how to say most of these names, so this one's going in the very outer V, I'm just going to bring it very gently just into the very lower part there. So it just ever so gently blends into that orange. Just deepens up the very bottom bit there. And I'm just going to take a bit of that red under the eye there. like an orangey red beautiful now yeah, like an orangey red or a ready orange so it's kind of halfway between the two and then a bit of this one i'm not going to try and pronounce again <laughs> just to blend that a little bit more And then back in with Todo La Vida, the yellow. I think that's the only one that I have a slight clue how to say. <laughs> and just use that to fluff out the edges. So I'm going to quickly pop on some NYX Glitter Primer where I want to pop the shimmers. I'm not going to be too precise, I just want to get a base down for them to stick to. I don't want it being all cut creasy. Okay, and just tap out the outer edges there. So, the first shimmer I'm going to be heading in with is Delamore, the orange shimmer there. And that is going to be going on, oh look at that, on the outer part of my lid and diagonally across here. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah, I do have to say, so far I am extremely impressed. I did, I was expecting to be impressed because... Uh, just of the quality of the Iceland palette. And then with the other side of the same brush, I'm going to go in with Perseguir Sueños, the shimmery yellow. 
I don't know why I still attempt to say these shade names because I haven't got a clue. And that is going to be going on the inner part that's been left open. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Oh. Wow. Okay. I can now officially say I'm in love with the yellows from Nomad. Both the matte and the shimmer are just absolutely gorgeous. I'm just quickly going to take some more of the red matte or orangey red matte and I'm just going to bring that back just in the outer there and just blend it into the matte. And that is exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, I am happy with how that is looking. So I'm going to nip off, um, do my eyes and lips and come back to do blush and highlight with you. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so I've finished my eyes and lips. I'll just let you know what I've popped on. The mascara is the Madeja Lash Mascara from Madage Beauty. I love it. In my water line, I have the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in Extra Frosting. The pink eyeliner is from Artitude Cosmetics. It's a Cake It liner in the shade Love. I've been really enjoying those Cake It liners. I have quite a few now. <laughs> The lashes I have on are also from Artitude Cosmetics and they are in the style Queen. And the lipstick I have on is the Ofra Flexi Slick and that is in the shade Stretch. I thought this uh, kind of peachy colour would really go with the look so let me know what you think. <laughs> so for blush I'm going to be going in with Contrary Mary from Pout and Shout. And this is what she looks like, a nice deep orange. And I'm just going to be placing that over where we've put the blush. A really nice orange tone there. This isn't a first impression. This is one of my favourite blushes. I say one of because all of Pout and Shout's blushes that I have are my favourite blushes. Look at that. I've just not found anything that can beat it. It's just perfect. I do now have a really nice pink one, which I was umming and ahhing about using today, but I thought this would go so much better with this look. And I think I was right. Look at that. Could you get any more perfect? I'm really loving this really over blushed look at the moment. I know it's not everyone's style, but I like it. I highly, highly recommend Pout and Shout's blushes. They are perfect. They are so pigmented, yet so easy to blend. You can make it a lot more subtle by just using a tiny bit, but I slam my brush in there. Because I like this. So the highlighter I have is a new highlighter. It is the Beauty Bay Powder Highlighter in the shade Glaze. And this is what she looks like. So let's see what you have to offer. Okay. Okay. It's actually more, I don't like this brush for highlight at all. Where's my? Where's my little brush? Where are you? Here you are. Right, swapping, bl bl swapping brushes just to my usual. 
Oh, look at that. That is actually really nice. I wasn't expecting that to be quite so nice. I don't know why, but I wasn't. Wow. Okay. I am not mad at this. And then just going back in with the blusher brush just to blend them together. Excuse Poppy. Hmm. Yeah. I like that. So out of the new things that I've tried so far, I think I really like the foundation. It doesn't seem to be settling into my lines, creases, whatever they are. We're not going to call them wrinkles. But yeah, it looks really nice. The concealer, although I got it a bit light, it's going to be perfect for brightening. So uh, yeah, so far so good with those. The blush, oh my god, I love it, absolutely love it, and the fact that it's orange just, oh, I love this, absolutely love it. The lipstick from Ofra, I'm not, it doesn't seem to dry down, yeah it doesn't seem to dry completely down, I love the colour, it's not uncomfortable at all, but it does seem a little bit sticky. I don't know if you can see that but yeah it is a bit sticky and the highlighter I'm actually pleasantly surprised I was not expecting it to be this reflective and this kind of wet looking it's beautiful actually so well done Beauty Bay I haven't put a nose stud in give me just a second right that's better I feel bare without my nose stud so yeah but yeah this highlighter it's in the shade glaze everything i have on my face will be listed in the description box below for you to check out but this is actually beautiful look at that and it actually comes out like that on the skin obviously not quite that dense but yeah just look at that shine it's beautiful absolutely love it i know what i didn't do yeah this lipstick's actually it's pulling it away from my lip hmm not so sure about the lippy eh? but the highlighter i forgot to do it in a corner highlight and brow bone highlight so we're going to do that together and i think this is going to be perfect Yep. And under the brow. Yep. That's better. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like, thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you're new around here, then I hope you'll consider sticking around. I do these Karma Chameleon makeup for mental health every Saturday. Um, but I also do a lot of colourful makeup looks and I focus mainly on indie brands. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. So firstly, thank you to all of you who are here for the premiere. If you're here, hi! <laughs> I'm sure I've been chatting with you in the comments section. Um, for uh, those of you watching this at a later date, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves and I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.